Laura here. Really good to see you. This is going to be a 10 minute upper body arms workout with light held weights. So two pounds or three pounds or one pounds and you just really want light, light pounds. So um, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but we're going to do some continuous movement. You can either sit on a ball or you can be standing in Pilates V or sitting on a chair, anything you want. Put some music on and here we go. Extend your arms straight out in front of you and you're gonna bend and extend. So elbows are high, shoulders are down, and core is engaged. You can find a nice beat here if you have some music to play to. It goes out and in out and in. And I know we're doing light weights, but I'm telling you, this is going to be pretty intense. When you don't stop moving for 10 minutes in your upper body, it gets pretty intense. So again, one, two or three pounds only. And in, out and in. One more and come all the way in. Rotate your arms in, palms facing each other. You're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. And every single time you pull down, it's like you're pulling your shoulder blades down into your back pockets. Elbows hug right alongside your waist. Up, down, up, down. Keep your ribs knit and your core engaged. About 30 more seconds here. You're doing great. Up, down, up, down. Woo. I already feel it. <laughs> so I don't even know how much we've done, maybe two minutes, but whew, keep your patience here. If you need to take a break, you take a break. If you need to go down and wait, you go down and wait. Four more. Last one. Whew, bring it all the way down. Shake it out a little bit. Biceps low. In, out, in, out. So this should be kind of like active recovery down here. Bringing your arms over your head increases your heart rate. It's also working your deltoids, which we really need to be doing more often. In about 30 seconds, we're gonna hinge forward and do some triceps. So again, I'm sitting on a little Pilates ball here, but if you were standing, you would look something like this. You'd hinge forward when we get there, your knees would be bent. And maybe for the next 10 seconds, you double. 10. You don't have to. Whoo! Five, four, three, two. I have a little bounce going on. One. <sighs> okay, here's that little hinge. So again, if you're standing up, you're just standing up, put a little micro bend in your knees and hinge. Pull your elbows in like you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Draw your front ribs in, belly to spine, out and in. <sighs> Keep your neck nice and long. You don't have to look up at the screen. I'm going to actually look down a little bit. <sighs> I also want this to be really isolated in the tricep. So you're not going to go up to your shoulders. You're going to squeeze right at your bicep, out. Pay more attention to the extension rather than the flexion. Even though we are working the bicep a little bit here, it's more about the triceps. In, out, in, out. Whew. Guys, halfway there. In, out, in, out. Two more. And then we're gonna do that whole circuit again, but we'll take one second. <sighs> Shake it out. Elevated bicep curls. Here we go again. Bring your arms up, palms facing up. We go in. So my elbows, I know I'm angling kind of forward towards you, but I'm at a 90 degree, 90. Whew. In, out, in, out, in. We're gonna do that whole circuit again. And in, out, in, out. Ribs knit, belly in, out, in, out. 
in a minute. We're gonna go into a narrow overhead press. You guys did it before, let's do it again. In, out, three, two, don't drop your arms, bend, open, and extend. So this is a little bit different. This is a wide overhead press. The last time we did this narrow overhead press, so this should feel a little bit different. Whew, down, up, down, up. Stay with that breath. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Y'all, I'm dying, this is hard. <laughs> I wish I would have just done like a one pound weight. Up and down, up and down. You wanted 10 minute arms though. 10 minute arms, here it is. Up, down, up, down, up. Five more. Three, two, and then we do the classic bicep curl. One, good job. Arms go down, up, Whew. up, down, up down and if you want to do tempo which is twice as fast you can do it it goes down down but as you can see if you're on a ball you start to bounce so just make sure you're stabilizing and you're not bouncing on that ball actually that's really challenging if you are sitting on a ball try not to bounce it stay still in in Ooh. in 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 20 more seconds. Whew. It's gonna be awesome. Look at these arms. They're getting pumped. <laughs> Up, two. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go to those triceps. In. Okay, listen, go slow. You can go slower. You don't have to go fast, okay? You go your pace. Try not to stop. Good job. Now see if you can hinge forward. Let's go to those triceps. All right, this is the fourth and final move that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna do some different things just for the last two minutes. Can you believe that we are almost done? There's literally like two and a half minutes left of this class. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? Reach, reach, reach. Put on that good music here. It's a great place for music. Keep drawing, the lengthening your neck too. So I don't want you looking up, okay? It's just a tricep extension, you got this. Nothing complicated, keep going. Whew. Whew. You've got this, 10 more seconds. It's literally, whew. In three seconds, we're just gonna sit up for a second and take a quick breather. Whew. Okay, so now we're gonna do rowing. If you need to switch your weights, you can. We're gonna keep the arms extended straight out in front of you, and then we're gonna pull the arms in at the sides, engaging our biceps, triceps, and lats. Arms come out here, and then we pull straight back. So diagonally, it's out, squeeze back. <sighs> Bringing the arms up at shoulder level is pretty intense. <sighs> if it's too much, you can do this hinging forward and go up. It's the same movement, but you're standing with the knees softly bent and elbows up, okay? This is a little bit more intense. Good, in about 15 seconds, we're gonna do a lateral lift. What that means is our elbows are gonna still stay bent in that 90 degree angle, and we're gonna open and close our arms. Three, two, one. Find that 90 degree, elbows in, and you're gonna open and close. Open and close. Open, open, open. Do you guys feel what's working here? It's your lats, your serratus anterior, your deltoids, your biceps. Everyone always says, can I get rid of this little flap back here? It's this. Again, 
This gets pretty intense pretty fast. If you want to make it harder, you hinge forward and you take this incline and this is a lot more challenging. Y'all, we're almost there. 15 more seconds in your 10 minutes of arms. One arm across and stretch. How'd it go? Good. Other one across. You guys are doing great. And then bring your arms all the way up, bend your elbows and grab the elbows. Do a little side bend over. And over to the other side. And all the way up. Bring your hands behind you and release your fingers. Pull your hands down. Turn your head from left to right. Ah, shake it out. You did it, 10 minutes of arms. I'm so proud of you. Um, do this, I would say you could do this probably like five times a week and maybe we can mix it up and I'll keep creating these little videos for you and challenging you in different ways. But 10 minutes is all you need.